gents, maybe even the old lady. How are you doing? It's Friday. Woohoo! Been a long week this week. Um, been out of London, been around, having to work hard, and uh, glad to see the back end of this week, really. Um, hope you're all all right, and um, I thought I'd give a brief painting update on the British that I got. If you remember in the last video, I received the package from Crusader Miniatures, and um, in the spare time that I've had, which hasn't been an awful lot, I've managed to um, put the command pack and the Vickers team together. And uh, here they are, coming along quite nicely. Need uh, undercoating now, uh, undercoating. Need varnishing, um, they need basing properly, and uh, that's then done really. Um, surprised I managed to get them this far progressed. Now, uh, these are my first Second World War figures, really, that I've tried to do in any way, shape, or form uh, to a half decent standard. Usually, I just whack the paint on. And uh, I'm actually surprised how enjoyable it was and how I could indulge my uh, need to do some shading, <laughs> which is uh, seems like I get carried away with. I just can't leave things alone. Um, even had a go at sticking some eyeballs in. So, uh, we'll take a look at some of these figures from this range. They don't look too bad, do they? Uh, we'll take a closer look, though. And uh, so what you think. Also, managed to do a little bit of touching up on the uh, Nassau. The 12 that I've got on my painting desk have now uh, pretty much all had the green finished. Um, did some side stripes and things like that and uh, put some extra white onto that hat. Uh, on the ones that I've got, I've got about four or five that have got white hats here. So uh, I'm determined I'm going to get these guys finished. For some reason, the, the, the paint block is a real psychological thing, but the painting block on these guys at the moment is just doing the silver of the guns. Can't quite get my head around it. It's a, ever such a strange thing. Um, but yeah, I'll uh, I'll get that done. So, should we take a closer look at some of these World War Two guys? Um, let's just bring the. So this this the four infantry that um, I'm going to show you here. They're uh, from the command pack. Now I've probably got to put some stripes or something on the uh, on the arm of this guy and see you or whatever the hell he is. Um, but uh, yeah, I was quite pleased with the way that he came out. Again, as always on these uh, kind of reviews of the figures that I'm painting, it's, it's I always think it's down to the the figure painter, the sculptor himself. Um, never done my painting, <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's just not a bad job. As I said, um, for a khaki uniform, he's uh, he's got some uh, different levels of paint on him, and. Um, it's come up really nice, really nice figure. So I'm gonna enjoy, uh, I don't know, maybe playing with these guys in a bit. Let's have a look at another one. Well, yeah, have you noticed uh, on the, on this guy? Look, got the eyeballs in. He has eyeballs. Amazing. Let's do another one. With this guy here, quite a nice figure to paint. Very pretty looking. Good pose, bit of action. Come on guys, follow me. I'm going to lead you to glory or something else. So, uh, yeah, okay, just a nice figure of paint. I tried to get the colours as best I could. Read up on the internet about, um, you know, you, the use of this, I forget what they call it, the, the green. The British Army kind of standard colours. And uh, I'm not sure it's coming on the video, but he's got, he's got quite a... Uh, Quite a vivid kind of facial paint there. The eyes, see if it'll focus enough to capture them. The change came out all right. Then it was a quite a nice figure, good eyebrows to stick on. Where possible, what I do is I, uh, I paint the eye in, put the uh, iris on, and then then put the eyebrows and things like that in. Uh, that's the easiest way I think to do it. But um, usually it goes wrong. <laughs> so there you go. This, You'll see on this uh, Bren Gun team. I'll give a further update when I actually finish this. But uh, this guy here, put his eyes in, and he's a bit, uh, I don't know, I don't know what you'd call that expression. Mean. A bit close together, I think, is uh, his eyes. But yeah, I mean, I can't blame, it's not the figures so much, it's my, my skill, but some of the figures are easier to paint than others, facially. Um, I've seen this character painted up on, on online, and he's, I think, generally speaking, he's probably quite difficult to uh, to do. 
so um, it, the white is enough reflecting isn't it in the video there try not to get that so much anyway so nothing too heavy I'm just going to show you it quickly so the, these guys will, uh, will when the grass goes on that reflection will go away and I'll give an update on the final video on these books um, I'm hoping to get another four to eight started along with the Nassau we'll continue working with those guys this bloke good looking pose actually one of those uh, poses uh, flat in the mold so easy to cast and uh, but it's come out as a nice character is uh, particularly quite like painting the black equipment um, you know that rifle uh, I don't normally uh, I'm obviously playing with silver with all these Napoleonics quite a lot but just doing uh, the rifle uh, with black with a bit of grey to touch it up quite enjoyed that it's a weird thing isn't it the old brain but yeah, again, uh, managed to get some shading and things into that uniform. I think I'm missing the point, really. Khaki is just supposed to be blending into the earth, aren't you? Not delicately shading these guys. I've seen some of the stuff that's done online, and it's just there's just some real artists out there, you know. I aspire to be like them, I guess, but uh, you do your best. So I don't know how good a quality this is coming out and how much you can see, but um, yeah, the nice figure. This uh, this young man here. Let's see if I can get. Oh, man, did I have to play with that face? Look at this there. He's just not the best facially to paint. His face is better on one side than it was on the other. A bit like mine. And uh, yeah, really struggled trying to get some detail or some. I don't know some realistic paint job on his face. But um. Shading wise, uniform wise, they came out okay, I think. And uh, on a war games table, let's face it, he's going to be alright, isn't he? I get some, uh, get some extra colours on him. Let's just take a little look at this guy. See if we can get a bit more focus on him. There we go. That's better, isn't it? Yeah, really nice. Uh, Enjoyable bunch of figures to paint, really. A bit of a chore with the uni uniform at times, but uh, generally speaking, it was okay. The Nassau. Dum dum dum. Oops, let's take a look. See. The saga of the Nassau. What we do with this guy and the rest of them is con continue with the black, get the shoulder st uh, straps done, the collars. Uh, finish off the cuffs there, you can see that yellow line is just a hangover from doing the, the lacing. And um, get the gun done. Uh, maybe a little bit more on his knapsack. Re uh, getting the, the shading in there, the, the kind of khaki coloured straps. And then that's it. And move on to the next 12. And as I said, I'm going to do the grenade. I'm going to make sure that at least the flankers or the grenadiers get painted up with the next batch of 12 because. It's a good way of motivating myself. Psychological games again. It's part of the reason for these videos. I think Von Ketterin was saying, you know, it spurs him on. Well, it's spurring me on a bit. and uh, It's going to get a bit of variety. So let's just push this bunch back together. And again, we'll do, a, we'll do a quick spin round with the old box. Look, um, look good as a group. Especially now I've got the Germans as well. The first set of Germans. I end up other figures. Empress miniatures seem to be a popular choice. But, um, I'm cracking on 50 this month. So the wife's told me. Don't be spending any more. Got to pay for all those parties I'm going to have. <laughs> Which probably equate to a pint and a bag of crisps. I hope so in any case, I'm not really kind of uh, looking forward to my 50th that much, it doesn't bother me, but I could do without a big celebration or anything like that, it's not me. Anyway, enough about me, it's about you guys as well. Have a good uh, weekend, and um, if you like my figures, and you'd like to see more of this sort of thing, subscribe, ring the bell, uh, like, share, all that jazz, and uh, yeah. If you don't fancy doing that, just uh, enjoy. 
So have a good weekend and uh, speak to you soon. Bye.